Hello crafties, this is Sandra from woollyfire.com and Whimsy Dreams. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a little more advanced way of creating printable cards than in the last tutorial. Uh, this is because in this tutorial we are going to uh, create an exact alignment with the frames. So if you are into a little bit more advanced designing, this is the tutorial for you. And if you are a beginner, please check out the earlier uh, tutorial. I will drop a link in the description so you can find it. It's a little bit more easy. So no worries there. I started out by creating a file that is 10 times 7 inches. And that's because this is going to be a folded card. And as we are going to fold it, in the end the card will be 5 times 7, so no worries there. So just start out by creating this document. In this tutorial we are not going to show a print bleed as we are going to do exact margins. So to start out we are going to create a base element here, that is the background I'm gonna add some texture as you've seen in the picture here before and I just drop this into the design like this and now I'm going to fit it exactly into the frame with no print on margins at all and we are going to find the background here I uploaded it already <laughs> Let's see here if I find it. We are going for this pink beautiful pattern you find in the Dreamy Me Meadow uh, pack which is included in the new um, Wildflower collection. That is a limited collection for this summer. Just drop it into this design like this. Now you have a solid pattern background here. So we are going back to elements. We are taking a grid again layering on top of the pattern and we are going to drag it until we find this center line here see it and then again make it tight to the edges like this and now we're going to duplicate it so we have two of them and we're gonna place it on the front side of the card as well like this. To make things a little bit more easy to see that we have cover covered both the back and the front uh, page of the card or side of the card, I'm gonna color it just in a color like this. You can choose whichever color you want. If you have another view here in, in the uh, Canva here, uh, I have the pro version, so I have pre-selected colors that I can choose from. But if you have the free version, you just go to new color or the color picker here and just drop a color in the boxes or placeholders here. Like this. And we're going to zoom in now so we can see that, that it is aligned perfectly. With the card that is no big gaps or something like that it looks it looks great and now we are going to lock these ones so we are not moving them when we are placing our frame zoom out a little bit you can use this tool here the zoom tool here or hold the control and plus and minus on the keyboard to do this. This is a shortcut. Um, now we're going to drop the frame in this design. So we go to the uploads and you can choose whichever frame you want. I have, I'm using the rose garden frames from the wildflower collection. As, but you can pick whichever frame that you want of course. But to make this easy on us, we are going back and place a grid again. And now we're going to make a placeholder for the frame. And now we have this center here, you see the center. 
like this and the center line here. You see the edges here between are perfectly aligned like this. Maybe I can make the other one another color so you can see it better like this. Then we go to the uploads again and I pick my frame here and just drop it in the placeholder like that. Now you see the distance between the edge here and the edge here are alike. So the frame is centered. I want some text as well to this card and I'm going to the text tool here. You can choose to do your own um, font design by using the heading or subheading and just drag it into the design and create your own. If you feel uncertain uh, about font designing and font pairing, uh, we can go with this. So I choose this love and joy here and it's available in the free version as well. So no worries there. Now drop it into the design and I place it like this. And I change the color to my favorite brown, as always. And I will drop the hex code to this brown in the description as well. And then if you don't have this already selected as a favorite, you can go to new color and just uh, paste in here the hex color to access the brown color. Very easy. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to change this text. So tri triple click in the text box and I'm gonna choose a quote from Kelly Elmore. Let's make sure that it is brown as well. Mm. Now we are going to click on the background placeholder and the and unlock it and remove it and unlock it and remove it. And now we are going to go to file and show print bleed here. As you can see now the background is not covering the print bleed area, this one, but we are going to fix this just by dragging the box outside here and out here and out here or in the edges here, of course, like this. And tada, now you have this frame centered and the text is centered and this little print bleed area will not make your frame uh, a little bit off center, so to speak. So if you are pleased with your design and you love it like it is, and then you go to download, choose PDF print high quality, crop marks and bleed. So you can cut off this area here, which can get smeary when you are printing in your printer. So your final result will look, you know, professional. <laughs> if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And if you find the background or the frame here <laughs> beautiful, you find all the products in the description below. And if you want to learn more about Canva, uh, please check out my class. And if you have any ideas for a new tutorial, just leave me a comment in the comment section below, you know. I love to get your input. And if you want to learn more about Canva and find more people that you know are like you into Canva, uh, consider to join the Facebook group. You'll find the link below in the description. Bye bye, crafties. Bye bye. See ya.